Welcome to the third episode of Ref Guest Season 2. It's brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. So far, it's been an electric season. Jake and Max are atop the leaderboard. They have yet to get anything wrong, so today, let's see if I can stump them. Today's theme, it's franchise face trades. There's a lot of matchups between teams that have pulled off these blockbusters. The Diamondbacks and the Cardinals, they're playing today. So I thought, what a fitting theme. Let's just tackle players that have been involved in these trades before. So that's going to be our easy, medium, and hard. And I have a tough trivia question for whoever makes it to the end today. So if you guys enjoyed today's content, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Jane Baseball channel. Let's get on with some ref guess. Line guess, JJ Hardy next. No. This is an outfielder. All right, uh, Dodgers, and this is Red Sox. Um, oh wait, hold on. We have three years Dodgers, four years Red Sox. Ah, the guy in the trade. Man, I've looked at this page a lot. I bet you didn't dupe a lot of people in this office. Young, really good hitter, uh, who I think is going to play above his career average, even though it looks like he's sneaky declining. Parts of three seasons with the Dodgers before being traded to the Red Sox ahead of 2020. That makes me believe this is part of the Mookie Betts deal. Exactly a 100 OPS plus in 2023. Corner outfield mostly. This gentleman was a Dodger, and then he was a Boston Red Sox. And I'm starting to think that this guy may have been dealt to the New York Yankees this offseason. When was the year of this trade? Where he went from the Dodgers to Boston. So the only the only trade that I could think about Dodgers in Boston, I'm thinking this would involve a Mookie Betts. It would involve a um, left-hander David Price. Money dump for some, for some weird reason. This is not updated for this year, correct? Yes. Because this person is no longer with the Red Sox. Correct. This person is on the New York Yankees because this is Alex Verdugo. This is my outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Earlier start than people realize this has to be Alex Verdugo. This is Alex Verdugo. Is this Verdugo? Okay. You will see what I mean with that easy. Verdugo. Really? Yeah. He did it! He got the blind one, guys. Jake has been blind guessing. He hasn't gotten one yet. All right. Yep. Who did he? Who did he blind guess here? I think he said JJ Hardy. Mm. Yeah, no Yankee stats on there yet at the time of this recording. Mm. That page will look different. You should have put 2024 and put Yankees there. He hasn't played yet. Well, <laughs> that's not always true. By the time this comes out, he played. Who do you think is playing third base for the Yankees the day this comes out? The day this comes out, probably me. <laughs> They got fucking Joe's McFly at third. Yeah. Who was a really good minor leaguer before the Dodgers got him up in the big leagues and then eventually the trade happened, but. A quick interruption to thank today's sponsor, which is the DraftKings Sportsbook. Now, you can't bet on our ref guest candidates, but you can bet on any sport your heart desires over at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And while you're doing it, use promo code JMBASEBALL, because if you bet $5, you win $150 in bonus bets instantly. And you can use that money on some same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same day for a shot at a huge payout if you're confident in your sports betting skills. And if sports betting is not yet legal in your state, get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy for a shot to win daily cash prizes. You Use our promo code JM Baseball. Bet $5, win $150 in bonus bets. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it's only on the DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the Ref Guess action. Medium. Medium. Yeah. Here we go. Medium. Medium, 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 medium. Ba bow We have a Rookie of the Year winner with Florida Los Marlins. This is a pitcher who I swear we've done before in these, but maybe he's just a pitcher who s sticks out. Oh my goodness. That leg kick, Jolly. We were all doing it in the backyard. This is a Marlin that went to the Tigers that was then traded in 2010, and this is a pitcher. Ah, damn, Jolly and his pitchers. Ah, uh, you know this. Don't give me that pictures. shit. Look at his first year. Wow, rookie of the year for the 03 Fish. Okay, starting pitcher, Florida, Detroit, Arizona, Cincinnati. This is a guy with a real funky windup. Leg went way up high. If it's the guy I'm thinking of, it would be bad if it isn't. 2003 to 2007, Florida. 2008, pitcher, Florida to Detroit. 2011, Cincy. Led the league in wins, two-time All-Star, goes Florida to Detroit, 
Uh, and it kind of immediately falls apart there, huh? Led the league in starts, starts getting injured and bad. 9-3 ADR is crazy. And I'm glad this guy is still around the game. Good personality. So he was on the team that beat my Yankees. Did this guy go to Detroit from here? I only remember him as a Marlin, though, but... So this must have been the one that sent Cabrera over to the Tigers. 22 games in 2005 that this gentleman walked away with a win. Seven complete games, five shutouts. Way more than I had that year. I was only three. Rookie of the year with Florida. This person was involved in the Miguel Cabrera trade, yes. This was a pitcher. Very, you know... I feel like when people talk about this guy, they think he's more of a strikeout guy than he is. He was more of a finesse pitcher than people re- realize. Cups of coffee, I don't exactly recall, but uh, I feel like this has to be Dontrell Willis. This is the D-Train, Dontrell Willis. I only remember him as the Martin because that's the only time I can remember the D-Train. Is this Dontrell Willis? Um, this gentleman, D-Train, right? This is D-Train. Dontrell Willis. This guy was a Marlin starting pitcher, went to Detroit. Dontrell Willis, who did he get traded for? Oh, this is Dontrell Willis. Yeah. I thought it was the return. So he got traded with Miguel Cabrera. With Miguel Cabrera. Okay. We have not done him. Okay. He's just been on my brain. You're just a liar. I feel so bad because of the way that his career, the tail end of his career is, because he was so good in the beginning. Fun to watch. Just straight up fun to watch. The mechanics and everything, just so much fun. This one, I will give you the trade if you want it, because it's a little kooky. Why? It's a three-team trade? the, The trade happened before he got to the big leagues. Oh. Can't wait to get hard for you on camera. Hard. I want this one, Jal. Let's see. Seattle to Detroit. Am I a shortstop? That's what the six means, right? I always do this. Seattle infielder to Detroit playing shortstop. <laughs> Okay, dude went from Seattle to Detroit. If I get this right, he got traded before he made his debut with Seattle. Yeah, do you want the trade? No, I'll just see if I can figure it out. Just Okay. His second baseman, well, left fielder, second baseman. Yeah, they moved him around. Went from Seattle to Detroit. Ended his career in Detroit. He became an all-star as soon as he got to Detroit. That's a good trade for the other team. Man, this is a, a really good big leaguer here. Third baseman shortstop, Seattle, Detroit. This is a bit of a tricky one. Retired 2011. This was a shortstop. All right, Seattle shortstop that went to Detroit. Hmm, Not much of a home run guy. Who was the shortstop in Detroit when the Phillies were doing Phillies things? And golly, I mean... uh I could see some of the kids not getting this. I have a big hunch who this is. Dude, I think I do know this guy, but I always, I kind of always forget his name. I think I do have it at this moment. 2004 years bigger than I remembered. I don't remember his peaks being that high. I remember, I feel like I've looked back at this page before and felt more lackluster career than I thought. Okay, so 2011, that's Prince Fielder at first base and at second base, uh, Brandon Inge? Yeah, but he's more third basey. Oh, this was a shortstop. Okay, so he was a shortstop for the Mariners. I don't know if I'm going to recognize that at all. And then he went to Detroit, where he played shortstop for a little bit. What's the trade? So the trade happened before he was a big leaguer. He was in the Randy Johnson to the Astros trade. So he was traded from the Astros to the Mariners alongside Freddie Garcia. At first I was thinking Maglia, but he's not, never been a shortstop, but that's a good name. Who could you be? Who could you be? It looks like he was more of a doubles guy. He got traded before his career started. I feel like that doesn't count. Who are you? He hit 320, they didn't make the All-Star game. Those two years they hit 320, which is insane. I feel like this one's gonna bother me. I have a face right now. I just got a face, which is great. I just got a face. Is it Omar Infante? No, it's not Omar No! <laughs> I don't know why I got his babe. No. Damn, I messed up, bro. What if I told you he shares a last name with a hot-headed Venezuelan manager? 
Who won a World Series. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, there's a few names running through my head right now. There's one name in my head, and it's a gentleman who shares a last name with a certain former White Sox manager. This guy played with one of my favorite underrated players of the mid-2000s. Who are you thinking of? I'm thinking of Maglio Ordonez, and that's not who this is. This one's not doing it for me. I'm trying to think in my head. I did watch those Tigers teams a good bit back then. They got TV time. I'm actually super curious if this person's in MLB The Show at all. I don't think he is. I just looked it up. I was going to say, because I don't think he is. Times at every infield position. The corner outfield here and there. I'm terrified of saying just the wrong name because I'm picturing the right guy. I'm pretty sure this is a really talented... Is he a switch hitting shortstop? I think so. I mean, the Yankees played this Detroit team in the postseason in uh, 2010 and 2011. It's when Jeter went down with an injury. So I'm trying to, if he was part of that, but he wouldn't, he's a part-time player, it looks like. Not a lot of pop. Middle infielder that moved around. Should I give you the hint that I gave Joe's? Okay, what's the hint? The hint is that he has the same last name as a famous manager. Is Ozzy Guillen World Series winning manager? He is. Jose, no, it is Guillen. Which one is it, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not Ozzy Guillen, but blank Guillen. Let me just plug in a couple of names in my okay. head real quick. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh my God, this is gonna kill me. Cart. Oh my God, this is killing me right now. This is this is gonna this is gonna kill me right now. I'm gonna be very upset. C can I Google them? No. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, my type is no. I'm not even getting like a a maybe in my brain right mm -hmm. now on this one. Decent OP, like a good OPS actually. A legitimately good player. Who was the Tiger shortstop? <laughs> this is like my time period too. This one's gonna bother me when you say it. I think I might have to get hit with a big old buzzer sound on oh, this one. It's a shame. Bum bum bum. Uh, Ramon Santiago. I think. And I don't know how I came to this because I have like no recollection of watching this guy play sure. baseball, but I'm pretty sure Jose Guillen was Mariners Tigers. Did I get that? I might've gotten the first name wrong. You did it's, get the first name wrong. It's something Guillen. Carlos Guillen. Uh, this is one of my favorites who never gets brought up. I believe this is Carlos Guillen. Is. Um, so Guillen. Guillen. Carlos Guillen. It's not Carlos. All right. It's time. All right. Carlos Guillen. Is the correct answer. You fucker! <laughs> you heard me say Carlos Guillen! No, you didn't. I said it! I said it! Oh my god, rewind it! It's not Carlos. I said you Carlos Guillen. I swear to everything. <laughs> oh my god, please. You also find said it. You also said Omar Infante. Like let's be on a, on a real level. <laughs> Gu Guillen never would have come to mind. Ah, Carlos Guillen. Nah, I wouldn't that would that wouldn't have popped up in my head. Carlos Guillen was a baller, dude. Yay me. I'm impressed that I got that. And you were right that that was probably the hardest challenge yet. Finish! Well, shout out to all the competitors that made it through the easy, medium, hard gauntlet. But we all know the real action happens in the trivia round. And I have a doozy of a question today. I have five franchise face trades listed right here. The Mookie Betts trade, Francisco Lindor, Justin Verlander, Chris Sale, and Paul Goldschmidt. Five landmark trades that changed those franchises for the foreseeable future. And all I'm going to ask players to do is order them in the events in which they happen. So get the correct date going from earliest to latest for all five of these trades, and you will win the trivia round and two points towards the Ref Guest Cup. Let's see how our competitors did. God, this is this is ugly. <laughs> this is not how this is not how Poppy's brain works. I will go. How long has Lindor been a Met, huh? I've got one of the pitchers first, which again, could be wrong, because Goldie's been in Arizona for a while, or in St. Louis for a while now, excuse me. I'll go Verlander, Goldschmidt, Sale, Lindor, Betts. You got, you got none of them right. Yeah, no, that makes <laughs> sense, man. That's not how this works. All right, Mookie Betts to LA was um, like, Winter of 2019 slash winter of 2020. So then Francisco Lindor to New York Mets was the first year Cohen had the team. I think that was 2021. Chris Sale to Boston, that was like 20... 
18, I think. No, could be even be 2017. Oh, Justin Verlander to Houston was 100% 2017. So then Chris Sale to Boston, maybe even 2016, because it was before that. Paul Goldsmith to St. Louis. I guess that would be 2018 if we're going in order here. So if we're just going in order. These are um, Sale to Boston, Verlander to Houston, Goldie to St. Louis, Mookie to... LA, Lindor to New the Mets. That is perfect. That is correct. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. Okay. Francisco Lindor to the Mets was the latest one of these. I'm almost certain. That was post-COVID. Um, Mookie Betts to the Dodgers was right before COVID. Like it was like the like the month before COVID. It was February 2020. Chris Sale to Boston was post 2016. I'm pretty sure. Because um, Sale was there in 2017. Verlander was August 2017. He was that weird waiver trade. Okay, Goldschmidt to St. Louis, I think was 2018. That must have been after Verlander to Houston. So this is the order of the five that I'm going with, Jolly Olive. Okay, so I'm going to read it out and then tell you if you're right or wrong. Let's see. You have Chris Sale to the Red Sox first, Justin Verlander to the Astros second, Goldie to the Cardinals third, Betts to the Dodgers fourth, and Lindor to the Mets fifth. That is perfect. And Bang. you will get your two points for that correct trivia Huge. answer. Max, Big nicely week. done. Well, a job well done to both Max Manis and John Boy, who come away with five points in this episode, the maximum you can get in a single episode. Big episode for Jimmy, who had a tough first two weeks and is now climbing the leaderboard. At the top of the leaderboard is Max Manis, and trailing slightly behind is Jake. That might be the race to look out for this entire season, but that is the end of episode three in season two of Rough Guess. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Jam Baseball channel. We'll see you next Thursday for another episode of Rough Guess.